In this video, we are going to see how to merge small files in Talent. First of all, we will bring three things together that we've done before. We will read a CSV file, we will write a Excel file, and we will use an iteration to integrate small CSV files into one single Excel file. Okay, and then besides this, uh, for the Excel to not be recreated and append, uh, sorry, not be appended uh, each time we execute the job, we will check beforehand on a pre-job connected to a pre-job if the file exists, and if so, we will delete it. Okay, don't worry, we we'll go through that step by step, and you will be able to follow along. So I go to my folder first. What I want to do is pick up all those address files that you can see here. Let me open some of those uh, because they have the same structure and so it can be one easy handy process to integrate them all together. Okay, and that's what we want to achieve with this small process here. All right, and we're going to build that from scratch. I will edit a two at the end, at the, at the process name, it's name file scenario. And first of all, we are going to use a file input a delimited component and a, a log row uh, in order to be able to read one of these address files and show its contents on the console so that we can be sure for this part that everything's fine and then from there on we will go ahead okay now we uh, here in the metadata if you imported my example you already have that but anyway we will create that again uh, together if you don't have that or if you simply want to practice so you create a file delimited by right clicking on file delimited and selecting the option create file delimited and this is address uh, file for example and i will search for it it's in talent data in and pick any of the address files for example address 6 csv there you see a, a preview of the file uh, on the next page we can see that it's already split correctly using the semicolon but we have uh, column headers here in the file instead of using those we can check this option and say refresh preview so this is fine and for the next step we want to change the name here address a schema and we want to make those columns a little larger 550 50 50 and then 5 phone and that should be fine and location I think as well and this date pattern let's verify in the file yes it's uh, day month year the days in the month with two digits and the separator is a minus right so it's uh, fine and to use in this pattern so we can click on finish all right, now this information is defined here. We can either convert it into a new component or use it on the component here in our job. So I drag and drop this on the component and the component now is going to figure to use this uh, repository properties and this repository schema. And we connect those two together and switch to table mode and run this part of the job. In this case, this small address file has 65 entries, which look like this on our console. All right, now we will uh, expand that in the following way. We will add first the iteration, which is the file list component. Okay, so a file list component will have to tell which directory to look at. It's talent in data in. Uh, which file mask to use it's uh, this name here I will copy and paste it instead of this new line and replace the 6 with an asterisk and now right click row iterate connect that here and now for each iteration obviously we don't want to read uh, address as 6 but we want to read the file which is currently it being iterated over okay so we click into this file name field and for the moment we will just select change to built-in property okay more on built-in and repository in 
in one later video. Okay, for the moment, just select switch to build in. We will delete all that and we will use again, as we did before in the iteration process, a part of the name of the file list component T file L and then control space bar to select here current file path. As you can see on the left hand side, which is a cur the current file and name with a path. Okay. So it's not just the file name. We obviously need the whole path and then show this content on the console. We can verify that this is okay by executing the job again. If we enlarge the console, we can also see that there are several outputs from several files, all with the same uh, schema, but different data, nine executions in total. Okay, so now we can replace the log row component, eliminating it and putting a file output. Excellent here. All right, then connect this again and the output Excel. I want that to be in data out and to be called addresses uh, XLS X. Okay, and we check the option. Sorry, uh, right Excel 2007 format, then include header append existing file, which is here the most important option for this one to work and append existing sheet. So every small file in the in each iteration will be appended to the Excel once created and to, to the sheet in the Excel once created. Okay. All right. And we define all columns auto size. And we can now create uh, execute this process again. Sorry. We see that it takes a moment for the executions to finish. Now we get the addresses XLSX here, and it should have some 600, I think, values. Yes, here we are, 599 plus the header. All right, now, if I execute this process again, you might probably already guess, and as I said before as well, that it will append again into the same file, which is not what I want in this case. Sorry. Here we are. Right. Now we have around 1200 rows, which is not what I wanted. So what I will add here is uh, something that allows me to check this file first. If it exists, delete it. And if not, just go ahead. All right, so what do we do for that? We add a pre-job component. What we connect to the pre-job component, like a post-job component, um, on the other hand, is executed before or for the post-job after the job. Okay, we'll have a separate lesson on that. And what we will do with this pre-job component is use the file exist component to check if this file output Excel already exists. If it exists, we want to delete it. And for delete, uh, for deleting a file, we will use T file delete. Now we get to connect them and to compare the components. Let's connect them first. Right click on the pre-job component and select trigger on component. Okay, uh, execute the file list and now right click on file exist and select trigger one if to connect it to T file delete. All right, now the T file exist and the default delete would need the same value here as this one. And in order to not be um, yeah, using the same value several times in, in different places, we will encapsulate this in a variable. So I can uh, go to file output Excel, copy the complete content of the file name field, or even cut it and go to contexts here, contexts in a talent is a collection of variables and click on the green plus here at the bottom. This is what I said will be new here and create a variable, for example, named target file of type string is fine and paste the value here, just deleting the double quotes at the beginning and at the end. All right. And now in our file output Excel, we're going to use this context variable. Using a context variable is really easy in talent, write context dot and then uh, control space and uh, there is only one in our case. So this is the one that, that we're going to use. Okay. And we're also going to use that here. So we delete also in the file exist component, everything which is there in the field file name 
we write context and control space and select a target file. And now maybe I can do it easier, control A, control C to select everything, to copy everything. And here, control V to uh, paste it also in the file and delete component, right? So whenever now our Excel target file name changes, we won't change that directory in either of the three components, but here in the value for this variable called target file. All right, and then one last thing, obviously, that we have to do is here to define and the condition, okay? The condition is, should result in either true or false uh, for talent to be able to evaluate that and decide to execute or to not execute the file delete step. How to do that? It's similar to the file list component, which supplies some variables here in the outline area. It's the same for file exist, and the file exist uh, uh, gives us a variable uh, here exists, okay? And that's what we're going to use. In this case, we can use it by using drag and drop. So drag and drop this into the condition field, and that's all we have to do, because it's of type boolean and either the file exists and then it's true, then we're going to delete it, or if it's not existing, then it's false. We're not doing anything in the file delete step. All right, so now let's put that along that alongside the file browser to be able to see what's happening here when we execute it now again. The file will disappear, as you can see, and it appears again, and it grows steadily until it reaches Again, it's uh, 599 rows, as you can see here, plus in the header. So our process is configured and set up uh, correctly. And what we actually done is being able to merge small files in talent into a large one.